Okay, using this, we can do something stupid. All attacks get plus one. So let's go for damage. To start, we have the usual boring stones and the day orb. Since stones don't do much of anything, let's just try and hit some bombs. And we missed every single bomb, but we're doing extra damage anyways. The day orb here does massive damage on critical, so let's just trigger the crits right away and hopefully get a lucky lucky bounce and do tons of damage to this idiot. Uh, we have to attack the enemy in front, so this is a little bit of overkill. But now that I'm in bomb land, we're going to try and glance off the one bomb into the other bombs. Uh, well, we got one bomb going off. That's fine by me. That'll do 50 damage to every idiot you see. Then the final one spawn, let's trigger another bomb. And... Well, we got a bomb going off, so we'll kill everyone actually. Because 50 damage to everyone, then we hit that idiot. Upgrade time. I think this time I'm going to take the Orbalesque. Uh, plus one, plus two for each stone in your deck. I have a lot of stones already, plus the extra damage. So that's extra, extra damage. And then let's hope there's an upgrade or something down this one. I think the question marks are generally going to be better. They can be negative, but they can also be uh, good. And they can also be enemies. Okay, well, I'm firing the Dag Orb out right away. So I was hoping a reroll would move a critical hit because this probably isn't going to do much damage without some crits somewhere. Uh, even then all the crits are at the bottom, so we're not lucky. Well, that's fine. 20 damage it is. Even the basic stones right now are pretty dangerous, just because they're getting 3 damage per hit instead of 2 like they should be. So we'll just slowly whittle these guys away. I mean, this level layout just isn't that exciting to begin with. And we didn't get a bomb. But we killed the first idiot. This is the big damage one though, so let's see if we can uh, trigger that. And we got a bomb going off, plus it's very bouncy. So we'll throw out a bomb. That's going to almost kill everyone. And then we hit him with that for 42 damage and it hit like four pigs. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit stupid here and try and hit the bomb down there. We missed it that time and we missed it that time. Great. Well, we took a little bit of damage there. I'm not going to go for that bomb again. I'm going to try and... Wow. I would blame that on bad luck, but let's face it, that's just skill. Anyways, now we can hit the bomb. That's 50 damage to everyone on screen, which is more than enough to kill them. I think the Orbalesque needs to be upgraded for ever more damage. Basically, it's going to add damage for every Bold Orb. I don't have any Bold Orbs yet, but I'm pretty confident I'll get them. And then we're going to probably go down to the left after this. But before that, we've got to kill all of these. But look at all those bombs down there. Going to see if I can kind of work my way down in there. That's pretty good. Now, if I could just hit some of the bombs, that would be great. Okay, one bomb. Well, one bomb is enough to chew these guys up pretty good. And then I have a clean path into the bombs. Plus, I have my bouncy Orbalesque about to go down there, so hopefully it can... Yeah, there we go. Hit another bomb. And that's still going to be plenty of damage. That's almost going to kill most of the things on screen. Uh, then the orb itself took out the front idiot. We do now have every enemy on screen. So let's see if we can get down there. If I fire that straight down-ish, we will lose out on everything. Okay, that's okay. We got the bombs ready to go. If I get that actually straight down, it'll bounce straight up and do it again, but it didn't. Okay, there's only three idiots left. I've only lost seven health so far, so we're doing all right. There we go. Two bombs went off there, so that's definitely enough to kill everything. Well, I think I'm going to have to take the Omega Orb. Uh, it does six damage per peg it hits, uh, and it has overflow excess damage passes to the next enemy. It does downgrade every peg it touches along the way, but I mean, for all that damage, we can just live with that. Hopefully this is some kind of item. Looks like it will be... Deal 15 damage to all enemies when reloading. Yeah, that's actually pretty great. I think I'm supposed to go to the right. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to really get any crits on this, so I'm going to hopefully, yeah, activate two bombs. Perfect. So that's actually going to kill all the bats on screen right away. That's nice and easy. Now, this is the Omega Orb, which will do huge damage. And the damage does overflow to the next enemy, too. Uh, crits would do 9, but even this is going to be so much damage that I'm not that worried about it. Oh, we got crits anyway. It is downgrading the other ones, obviously, but I mean, this is going to destroy uh, the two on screen. Easy enough. Oh, I see it fires in a straight shot. So it's not going to kill the two on screen, but it's certainly going to kill the one on screen. And we have so much damage anyway, these minus ones don't really bother me. Uh, case in point, that. We did 54. We didn't even hit a lot of pegs. So we'll just keep doing that. We could get crits. I meant to hit that restock a little better, but that's fine. They're just bats. They'll die. Next, we're going to take a rub orb. It does three damage. 
four on critical hits. Now, hopefully this is something. There's treasure chests below. We stumble upon them, but uh, we could offer... Well, let's offer the rub orb, I guess. Now, it upgraded my orbalesque, so I'll take that. It ate my new rub orb, but it gave me something better. There's two treasure chests below me. Okay, I've got Megorb coming out right away. Um, I might actually remove that because I want all my enemies in a row before I can uh, before I can unleash that. Now, this does five per hit and eight per crit, so we'll just go ahead and let this loose into the world. Because that's uh, <laughs> already stupid damage. That's way more than that had to be. And I hit the bomb, so we're going to kill almost him as well. Just gonna fire one out that way because it really doesn't matter at this point. We're doing so much damage that we're just making this look a little bit easier than it has to. So let's upgrade an orb. The Omega Orb. It goes to 8 damage and 11 for crits. Ooh, look how yellow it is. That's gotta be a good sign, I think. What do we got? I have a 7% chance, but bombs deal 15 damage. I don't really love that. It's not bad, but the bombs are gonna do so little damage that I don't. Treasure chest. Uh, attacks deal plus 10 damage to plants. Yes, those damn plants. We know how much I hate those, so the more damage to them, the better. All right, I think I'm gonna go to the right and then stay down that wall. I didn't mean to fire there, but luckily I fired to the right anyways. I've had too much coffee. I've got an itchy trigger finger. I started blasting. Bah, bah. Well, I don't see so good, so I missed. I find a waterfall just off the path. What secrets might it be hiding? An echo chamber. All attacks deal 10% of the previous attack's damage is bonus damage. That's so stupidly powerful for me because I do such huge damage. And we have plants. They're in so much trouble, they have no idea. I'm a plant murderer. Uh, but here we have the Omega Orb, so we can hit right down that line of everyone. So, I don't know how I want to do this. Maybe just restock right away? Oh, that wasn't very good at all. I didn't realize that wasn't going to happen. Still going to hit him. The overflow would have hit more, but whatever. Alright, let's see if we can get some crits. I hate how that pocket always catches them, though. But a bomb went off. So, that's going to be plenty of damage. Actually, that's going to almost kill a lot of things. So let's go ahead and... Okay, that's fine. You're almost dead and... The other one will die very soon. I should probably restock at some point too, but I think I could probably get away with this. Especially if I could touch even just a little bit of bomb. Well, you're dead. Dead. Okay, next I'm going to try this Splat Orb. It does three damage, which is plenty. Uh, applies rubber to every fifth hit that makes him extra bouncy. So the pegs are going to be upgraded for me. And the more my ball bounces around, the more damage I do. And the more damage I do, the happier I am. Okay, now we're fighting the big slime. Uh, he has 720 health. I'm going to start with my Omega Orb, which is great because it can do a lot of damage given the chance. Even that was 88. That's a tenth of his health. So this is a level 3 stone. It by itself uh, is doing all that damage. 5 per peg. So there's a bomb going off. That was 63 damage, just like that. That's the bomb. So there's 111. 113. I don't know why I said 111. Uh, right now I can maybe go for the bombs. This one is tricky because the balloons like to catch your peg and just take it straight down. We're doing so much damage, I'm really not worried about this at all. Gonna try and get that restock if I can, just to get some more pigs on the board. There's another restock again. 50 damage going out. He's got 400 left. Which sounds like a lot, but I really don't think it's going to matter. Because this one can spawn rubber pegs, I do want some rubber somewhere in there if possible. That way uh, they're extra durable and bouncy. There's 42 damage for him. I'm inside the slime now. That's exactly what it sounds like. We're doing so much damage for everything we touch. Like this is normally supposed to be a very tense, stressful battle. But like this, uh, I should have checked what uh, orb that was. That's fine. Because there's uh, 50 plus whatever I just did. 80 so he's got 190 left and we have a direct shot to critical hits which i kind of wasted but we'll do pretty much that same thing again there is a restock down there perfect there's another 34 and here's the splat orb again uh these balloons really work against me but i got some more rubbers down there in a really good spot 56 so he's got 65 health left but we're running low on health ourselves let's see if we can finish this off i probably should have done that a little better 40 health, one shot left. I think I'm going to go straight for the restock here. I've got to do 40 damage. Uh, that's not going to do it. Uh-oh. The balloons really got the better of me there. 15 minutes later. 
Let's do Ring of Indignation. Whenever you lose health, deal two times that amount to enemies. Then we're going to fight more bosses because these guys are paying out. Hopefully we just get a little better uh, play on the next boss level. But if we get relics of bosses, I'm just going to fight bosses from now on. Uh, these slimes aren't too bad, but this green slime at the end might be a problem. I don't really know what that is. So we'll do some crits to start. There's one bomb gone off already, so that's actually going to weaken things really nicely. The first red slime is very dead. This is my level 3 stone, so let's try and wedge it down into all these pigs over here, plus a restock, so that's perfectly fine. Maybe even another restock? Nope, just enough to kill that one. The slime on the rear has 400 health, so we definitely probably want to get some damage onto that one sooner than later. There's a bomb going off, so that's kind of nice. And uh, yeah, we're about to do some big damage, unfortunately to an idiot with only 10. That shot would have been good against green slime. But we also have Orbalus coming in, so... I always forget how bouncy Orbalesk is, and that can cause me problems, because this thing wanders around to weird spots. Still lots of damage. So we're going to try to get all of those, and that actually worked for once. So that's really good damage to everyone. Alright, we got Orbalesk up right away again, so... Whoops, I missed the crit because I glanced away. Kind of like golfing, you gotta keep your eye on the ball. Wait a minute, I'm the game. We have a basic stone, really trying to wedge it down into that little pocket. Come on, no crits, but still a pretty good shot. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a restock again. I think restocks never run out anyway, so we might as well hit them with... I have no other choice because we might as well set up the next shot. Ow. Critical hit it is, come on, restock. Well, that's still big damage. One or two more hits should do it. I should really be trying to work closer to that restock, because both of them are really annoying places to get to. There's a pretty good hit, but Idiot's gonna hit me too, but might actually kill itself with that. Uh, let's heal 20%, we just need that. All attacks get plus one. Yeah, more damage. Uh, then I think we're going to go down to the left for a second. We maybe need to avoid battle, because our health is at half. I'm pretty sure here we want the one on the left, because that actually upgrades a bunch of uh, pegs on the board. I just don't know the best way to get over there. Oh, and this thing is super bouncy, so it's kind of just luck at this point where this is going to go. And looks like we're getting this one. Echorb attacks all enemies, deals 15%. I don't even want that. And then we got to try and land this again, so whatever. This is just going to go where it goes. Question mark. Perfect. And then we'll go to... Ooh, look at all the treasure chests. Uh, You stumble across a random... Ooh, duplicate all orbs. So this one, you are immune to damage while reloading. Yes, please. Then obviously this way for more treasure. Didn't mean to hit that. Please don't bounce crazy. Thank you. I love opening treasure chests. Pretty much what I was born to do. Heal three when, re when reloading. Yes, please. Now, does it matter which way we go? Nope. All roads lead to a boss and then the big boss. So we might need some healing. I find a clearing. Uh, we could reach into the tree and lose 10 HP. I don't really have that HP to get right now. We shake and nothing happened. I just couldn't sacrifice the HP. I'm too nervous about what's what's about to happen. I don't even want to fight this really. Uh, every shot is a crit when fired below 30% health. That's also pretty good. Do I fight the boss now? I don't. We can get some healing if we manage to kill it quickly. I think we have the damage. We'll get a relic if we do this. We have tons of stones and orbs and stuff plus an egg. Oh, heals you for each peg hit. Interesting. Then it permanently breaks, but that's going to get us a lot of healing and damage. Uh, for now though, let's just, uh, try and get some bombs hit. Please hit some bombs. Okay, one bomb is hit, that's okay. We have other bombs we can hit, which will hurt a lot of everything. So, I don't really know how to get to that bomb. We'll just get some crits if anything, then we're... Well, those bombs are still activated. They're still ready to go. Okay, that one's set off. Uh, if we hit one more, we can actually, uh, kill everything on screen, really. No, but we're doing tons of damage. And everything is super weak. So this might work out okay. I'm going to set off the bomb right away, obviously, because that's just going to kill lots. It's just me and the big green goo idiot. Forgive him, but as you can see, he has no brain. Turns out you don't need one. Uh, or this is Orbalesk too, who's doing 7 damage per peg and 13 per crit. So we're obviously going to refresh and let that do its thing, because this could be a really high damage thing. There's another refresh, so my next shot will be ready to go. There's... Too bad it's not crit, but that's tons of damage. Plus little Lord, little old Degorp here, which is super bouncy. We're just going to try and land that on as much crap as possible. Another really big hit. There's 112, most of your health. And then the egg, which can heal me. Uh, so I wanted to bounce into lots of just... Oh, so that's it. It just bounces once. Well, that's actually fine. 
Uh, 84 damage is all I need, so this thing is not dead, but almost. Still can't hit me from there. So we'll just go like that, and Big Slime's gonna die. I didn't take a single bit of health thanks to my incredible damage. Super dead. Okay, I'm just gonna take 20% healing. I don't really want any of those. Here's what I want. Let's take the Overwhammer. Projectile attacks have overflow. Excess damage carries the next enemy. So excess damage here is going to be good in case I have to attack something that's not you, though it's going to be hard to get excess of. Oh, we got the crit on that though already. And a bomb. Actually, that's a really good start. So we'll hit both of them a little bit and the tree is going to take big damage. And we'll hit a restock anytime we can just because why wouldn't we? The bomb didn't restock, but that's fine by me. There is still tons of damage. The molas come by to give me a smack, but the Orbalesque here does so much damage that I'm hoping we can just get a bunch of lucky bounces. I was really hoping we we're going to get a crit there. Oh, I'm still attacking the tree. I should be hitting the mole. Uh, Dagorb's going to try and make an appearance here with some crits. Not going to get it. Did get a bomb though, so that's something. And a restock, so actually I'll take that. Bomb's going to hit a bunch of things. These plants need to die also, which did. I'm just going to leave the mole selected. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do that sooner, just because then things will naturally attack the mole when they can. I can't hit the mole, I think, when it's back there with most of my things, but some of them I sure can. Okay, here's my level 2 stone, so I'm just going to try and launch this that way, maybe. Uh, well, whatever, that's still a 100 damage hit. So he's got 400 left. I'm going to try and get something to land over this way. There's still lots of goodies over there, plus we hit a bomb, so that makes me feel better. And we got another bomb activated, so good. We haven't killed the tree, but we killed the plant. Yeah, my regular rocks are doing like that. That's 100 damage. Uh, level 1 stone. Get over to that restock, please. Hey, I actually hit it. I just wanted to get in the area at least. So I'll take that. And even that's a pretty good hit at like 50 damage. Straight to the mole. Then I have Orbalesque right now, so that's really good timing. So that'll hopefully bounce a ton into a ton of different things. And it will hit the mole directly. Come on, hit the bomb. No bomb, but there's 168 damage straight to the mole. And I've got Orbalesque again, thanks to a really, really lucky uh, thing. So there's uh, some crits and a bomb. So good news for the mole. It's dead. That mole is super dead. Yeah, damage. So if we could keep going, then we would get Sealed Conviction. All attacks get plus two, plus two, which would be absolutely absurd. But that's as far as we can go. But we obliterated that mole.